survey reveals that the, the United States Congress is more religious than most Americans. A new report from the Pew Research Center reveals that the 118th U.S. Congress is more Christian and religious than the general public. The new report says that around 88% of all members of Congress are Christian, compared to only 63% of Americans who identify as such. That includes 75% of Congress members who identify as Protestant and 28% who are, percent who are Catholic, both higher than the national average. Even though the number of religiously unaffiliated Americans has risen since 2007, only one member of Congress, independent Senator Chris, uh, Kirsten Sinema of Arizona, explicitly stated that she belongs in the unaffiliated category. Another member of Congress, Democratic Representative Jared Huffman, identifies as a humanist. So uh, the report also listed 20 Congress members as having unknown religious affiliation since they did not answer the CQ roll calls query, which served as the primary data source for Pew's analysis. Pew Research Center also said in this report that the U.S. Congress has been, quote unquote, largely untouched by two significant trends in America's religious life, the gradual decades long decline of Americans who identify as Christian and the steady increase of Americans who have no religious affiliation. So before we die, actually, I'm going to go ahead. No, I just think like this is good because um, I know there's a mismatch between the politicians and the people. But eventually it will catch up, right? It's not the distance is going to like, I mean, the people will lead and eventually the, the, the way and I mean, the politicians is still higher relig religiosity in the politicians, but it's still much less than before. So the future is bright because a lot of the, a lot of if not most of most of the problems we have in US politics is because of the religious members of um, representatives in politics so i can't imagine how much things can improve once they are out and you know once they actually represent the people more i think it's going to solve a lot of not just u.s problems but the world problems well one thing that struck me when i was reading pew's analysis because i read their full report because i do my reading um is that when it comes to um muslim buddhist Hindu representatives, the amount of representatives that follow these faiths is actually um, essentially representative of what it is in the U.S. population. When it comes to Jewish members of Congress, they have a slight overrepresentation in their um, national uh, uh, than the national population, but only by like one or two percentage points. But then when it comes to Christian members of Congress, they are vastly overrepresented, whereas for other groups, it's approximate. And I mean, non-religious people, religiously unaffiliated or atheist are so underrepresented, it's laughable. It's laughable. So when I when the report compared it to how, hey, these groups, these other religious groups are actually roughly representative of Congress, but then we are so eft when it comes to our representation like it really stood out to me so much more now i do have to say the fact that we do have two openly atheist members of congress is actually pretty extraordinary like that's still a huge that's that's still huge especially for our country well my country not your country so we like have to recognize that but it just still feels so woeful in comparison to just the Christian hegemony. And there was um, a, I can't, a professor, I can't remember the university, I wanna interview him, his name is Phil Zuckerman, and he is involved with secular studies. And he was basically talking about how, even if, especially for Democrats, their policy platforms are generally in line with the interests of the secular voters, but they are not going to call themselves openly non-religious for the sake of not alienating the Christians that they could cater to, particularly the Black Protestant segment of the population that the Democrats need as a voting bloc. And so... I don't know. It just it really sucks how it's still politically so important to be so religious 
as a public figure when it's not reflective of the population. And Pew has released research saying that Christians are going to be a minority by like 2050. You know? Wow. Can't wait. Yeah. We need, okay. Atheist, vote. Please vote. Go out and vote. Okay. Um, so there's that. I am. Um, do you have anything else about this? Because I, there's a comment. There's a few comments I want to highlight. Um, I will. I mean, we say this all the time, but this is just reflective of like why atheists need to get politically yes. involved because Good. we have more and more, we make up more and more of the population, but we are so poorly represented in the so-called body politic. And that needs mm -hmm. to change. That needs to change. Um, so don't let religious people have a monopoly on these things by saying, oh, well, we can't do that because that's what religious people do and we don't want to be like them, da, 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 da. No, we deserve to seize our piece of the pie the same way that everyone else does. Let's have people be reflective of our values and not be crucified or have, you know, suffer political harms because they're being open about their non-belief. Um, so, yes, that that that's, you know, my grandstanding for the day. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.